welcome back to Sage and Stone Homestead. My name is Heather and one of my favorite goats is in labor today on her due date. Margie, I think is gonna be having triplets this time. She's actually a lot bigger than I have ever seen her. This is her third kidding with me, I believe. She's only ever had either singles or twins. And so triplets would be a new thing for her. And I really hope we get at least one doe out of the whole thing because I plan on keeping does out of her. The thing with Margie, when she's in labor, she's really vocal. Ordinarily, she's not really vocal and ordinarily she will let me touch her. But right now, she doesn't want me touching her and she's being really vocal. And I am seeing some contractions and a little bit of goose. So I think we're gonna have babies before the sun goes down, which is good because we're about to come into a decently rough cold front. Um, temperatures that we haven't seen all winter, aside from that one really crazy cold snap that we had in December. We're gonna see temps possibly below 20 degrees. And so I'd really love for these babies to come out soon so that we can dry them before the cool weather comes in. Hey, mama. That's a good contraction. You can see how she's hollowing out right here. Mama. 
There you go. Wow. That's a pretty one. Good job, Marge. Good job. It looks like a deer. <laughs> Another girl. Oh my goodness, Margie. Tony Cruz. Doling number two. Look at her teeth. I haven't seen her teeth yet. I'm feeling it again. Hang on. Let's move the babies. I'm feeling it again. our process this time. We're just gonna spin and push. Okay. Whatever works, my love. There we go. That kid in the sack. Okay. Wow. Good job. Very pretty kid. Holy smokes. There we go. Whoa, she's great. Oh Thank my you. gosh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That one's a boy. Oh, we got a boy. <laughs> All right, Mama. <laughs> He's yucky. <laughs> I'm going to put him right here. <laughs> Odie babies. That's for sure. Here, let's let this little girl. Let's make sure Mama's doing milk. So she's got it plugged. Hi. Good girl, Marge. She's not gonna get up. He can't. Okay? Good boy, be gentle. Much cuter when they're dry. Look at how cute he is. Hi, honey. You're so cute. So, I noticed yesterday when cleaning up the kids and putting iodine on their umbilical cords that this little guy, he had like a bubble of blood in his umbilical cord like I've never seen before. I decided that I was just going to put iodine on it and see what happened and it looks like it's dried up really well. Okay, okay hang on. I'm going to check your teats. Two teeth. I see two. I'm pretty sure he's horned. <laughs> this is the first little doling born. Then she is a lot smaller than the other kids. She's got blue eyes and I'm pretty sure she's pulled and she's staying here with us. So yesterday, the day that these kids were born was Margie's due date. It was St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick's Day also happens to be my mom's birthday. And I told her that if this goat delivered on her birthday, I would name one after her. So this little doling's name is Holly. She's an adorable buckskin with random white. And I believe she also has two teats. Okay, let's look. It took her a second to latch on to Margie yesterday. She was the, the first to come out, but then Margie, you know, was busy with 
cleaning off her siblings. And so it was probably 45 minutes before she got to have her first nursing session. And I sat here for a little while and made sure that she was able to find the tea on her own. Being the smallest, I do have to watch her because I don't want her to get bullied off of the tea and then not get enough milk. So we'll be watching her. <laughs> and here is baby number two, doling number two. She is really, really cute. I don't think I've ever seen a chamose with frosted ears like this. She has actually a lot of white on her. Yeah. That cute? Woo, lots of white. And her ears will become erect. She doesn't have any Nubian or anything like that in her. I guess this is just from the way that she was inside mama. She looks cute like that though, isn't it? I believe she's also pulled and she's got brown eyes. <laughs> You are cute. Come on, let's check your teeth. Okay, I know, I know, it's scary. I've got you. I've got you. Okay, I'm sorry. She's got two teats as well. So my concern over the teats on these kids is I bred Margie with one of my bucks who has a dam with a spur teat. So besides that spur teat, that extra little nubbin on Pepper's, Pepper's teat, I really love everything about her udder. The softness, the capacity, the orifices. I would really like to get more of that udder, minus the teat deformity in more of the does on our herd. So I had kept back her son, Odie, who appears to have two teats in order to try to breed out the teat deformity. So I've read in a couple a couple different spots online that you can't truly breed it out and I've read that you can. And one of the ways that I've read that you can breed that out is to breed back to very udder animals or animals who have really great udder genetics. So Margie doesn't have the most perfect udder on the farm. She actually has pretty poor attachment on the fore udder on the front of her udder. Um, but we're trying to just see what happens with these combinations, with these breedings. Margie has really great capacity. She milks out really well. Um, and so I'm really excited to see how these girls produce. Everybody in this litter of kids has two teats. And so that makes me feel really good. And when we breed Odie's daughters, we're gonna be checking their babies to make sure they all have two teats and intentionally breeding them back to lines of goats that consistently produce two teats. Some of you who saw Tempest's birth or the little recap that I did within Schwenli's birth of Tempest's birth, you notice that her, at least her one son has four teats and she was also bred back to Odie. Where I think that went wrong is Tempest and Odie are kind of related. They share a grandfather or a grandsire. And so when you combine two animals that might have some faults, you are going to get more of that fault coming out. And so that was not a proper line breeding. That was more like inbreeding because it went wrong. So I know that I can't pair Tempest with Odie again, or I'm going to get subpar animals. You don't get usually any really crazy deformities, but little things like the extra teats, maybe some bad feet, just some things that aren't quite right can come out when you combine lesser quality animals. So I was gonna get rid of Odie because of the three teats or the four teats situation on one of his sons, but I really don't think I'm going to. I think that was just a bad pairing. I shouldn't have paired him with Tempest because they share a grand sire. I shouldn't have combined those genetics because it wasn't a good combination, but it seems like a combination with Margie worked out really well and we'll be able to see that more and more over time with these girls. How are you doing Margie Moo? You did good. So I haven't settled on a name for that second doling, the really pretty chamose with lots of white. Um, I have a full name list that I could pick from. I wasn't sure if I wanted to choose an Irish name because she was born on St. Patty's Day or if I wanted to go off of my name list. So if you have any ideas for her, I'll hear them in the comments for sure. Next up to give birth is Christine. Our La Manchas start giving birth March 31st. So we're watching her really closely. She does have a nice bump over here. Hi, Abby. Huh. 
And this is going to be a very high retention year for us. We are keeping every single dough that comes out of most of these girls over here. I don't think I'm gonna keep girls out of Barely. I might, I kind of just have to see what she has. And I'm not keeping uh, doughs out of Boba because at least one of those is claimed. And I don't think she has more than maybe two kids in there. So anyway, stay tuned for all the goat happenings here on the farm. We are also entering gardening season and a lot is planned for gardening season as well. So we hope you subscribe and stick around. Mm -hmm.